Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Today I'm back with another autumn styling video, my second of the season. I don't think I've ever been this like on it with the styling content, I'm very, very proud of myself. But anyway, we have another autumn styling video today. I'm very excited to show you some of my like favorite looks of the autumn before we get into winter. And I'm literally just soaking up all of the autumn clothing goodness before I go into the next week of my life, which is basically gonna be me wearing like clothes that don't matter because I'm probably gonna get paint on them. Yeah, that is gonna be my life for the next kind of week or so. So I'll be vlogging, but yeah, I need to get on and do that. And then I'll be back with like some more styling videos. I'm basically, yeah, soaking this all in and making the most of it before I look like trash for the next week whilst I'm just like sorting the house out and various bits that are going on. So if you like house stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you keep an eye out because there's gonna be lots of updates coming soon and I'm, I'm so excited, but equally excited to be looking cute today and not in painting and decorating mode. So yeah, like I said, autumn styling today. You guys voted for this on Insta stories. There was kind of like a little bit of a, do I do autumn to winter yet? Is it, is it, are we ready for that? Like I feel like the season hasn't really even started to switch where I am. It's still very mild, but obviously I try and keep into account that lots of you are from various parts of the world, lots of different climates. So things are kind of different for everyone. So if you are in like a Northern part of the world and things are a little bit chillier, I have just, or should have just uploaded a winter coats video where I go through just like a ton of winter coats that are available at the moment. But yeah, if you are looking for like more snuggly items, I've done that video and I will link that above for you to go and watch. I'm trying not to make this intro too long, but I feel like there's things I really need to update you on. Oh yeah, so autumn, winter transitional outfits will be coming up. That'll be the first thing I film once I get my house back in order, I'll, I'll explain in the vlogs. And then I think we should also have winter outfits, like super snuggly outfits for you guys ready for kind of like end of November, start of December. So yeah, if you are one of the people that voted for autumn style, Styling, then this video is for you and if you voted for autumn winter then I'm sorry but it's coming so yeah without making this any longer because it's we're hitting 14 minutes 15 roughly now I'm gonna get on with outfit number one with this video I wanted to go for like an easy way to look pulled together very quickly kind of autumn outfits vibe if that makes sense so there's nothing too technical going on really with any of these outfits and we're just going for some good like classic autumn tones really nice textures like nothing too crazy going on and i feel like outfit number one it really reflects that so we have an item that is new to my wardrobe this kind of shirt dress is from zara it is like a dress full on dress. But I think the length of this is pretty decent. It's not too long on me to the point where I can't wear it. It's actually, I would say it's perfect. But if we're going upwards of five foot two, I think it will still look great as well. It just depends on how long your body is, will depend on how short it really comes up your thigh, if that makes sense. I paired it with my Zara lace up boots because they are a classic. And I do just feel like these work really beautifully with this dress. I've also done a little Instagram video when I unboxed this, where I paired it with some croc knee high pointed boots. And I love that look but this is the more like daytime casual version of that the other version looks very like i'm here and ready to do life you know it's very like rich girl vibes or this is just more like low-key autumnal cute and i love it i'm just throwing on a little like black and gold bag with this I'm not going too crazy i just wanted a black leather bag to match the shoes and to just tie everything in and then for my hair in this video it's probably going to stay the same because uh it's hair wash day but i've gone for my ridiculously expensive black velvet scrunchie which i'm pretty sure you can buy loads of scrunchies like this now but i got it a couple of years ago and there was just nothing really on sale that was like this this is like the scrunchie is huge and i love it literally when i turn my head i can't really even see my ponytail i can just see the scrunchie i won't link it because it's probably not on sale and it i don't want to talk about it i know i am talking about it but i don't want to talk about it so yeah just pulled my little ponytail back, pinned it with the scrunchie, pulled it. I do this classic thing with my ponytail where I always pull it over my ears. It's kind of like a more relaxed vibe and left the two pieces out of the front. I'm really liking this hairstyle at the moment. It's nice, I am really appreciating having hair that's not broken and it's actually like the front bits are like long. I love it. Yeah, outfit number one. As we go into cold weather, if you're in a colder climate, I would highly recommend just throwing on thermals underneath. And if you're a fan of tights, you can throw on a pair of tights with this. I personally just, I don't like touching tights for one. Like I've got a real thing about the texture of them. I don't like it. And I can't touch tights without putting holes in them. They're personally not for me, but I know everyone loves them and I think they look really cute as well, especially with outfits like this where you're wearing a black pair of boots. So feel free to add them wherever you see fit. There's quite a few like skirts and things in this video, which all have black boots paired with then you can just throw on a pair of ties with them, but I just personally won't be because uh, I don't like them. But yeah, this is outfit number one. I love it. 
I love it so much. I rolled the sleeves up on it as well, just because they're a little bit baggy on me. So I just wanted to give a little bit more of a kind of like cinched, a cinched in look. So I've just rolled them up and I really like the kind of structure that it gives the shoulders. And I know by the time you see this, it will be November and some of you might be questioning my sanity and whether I'm okay in life, but I am fine. This dress is so, so warm. It's like a faux leather, so I'm toasty. You will probably be toasty in this as well, if not thermals, tights, like I said, but you have been warned. This is definitely not one to wear on like a warm, sunny day. You have been warned. Okay, look number two is what I like to call, I wanna be comfy and cozy, but I don't want someone to ask me if I'm sick. That kind of vibe, you know? You know when you rock up somewhere and you're in your sweats, stay to your mum's house, for example, and they're like, are you feeling okay? Are you okay? It's like, yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't dress up for you guys. Okay, that is the vibe of this one. It's an all black outfit, which I feel like I haven't really done that much this autumn, but I love this one. It's a little variation on my favorite Zara shirt jacket. So I've taken the little tie waist bit off of it and I'm just wearing it like an over shirt, that type of vibe. Paired it with just a Zara body underneath and then my Zara leather look leggings, Zara boots and the same Chanel bag. And I really like the way actually the scrunchie looks with this look, it's super cute. I think it kind of softens it just that little bit because the leather boots and leggings work together and look quite tough. So the scrunchie kind of like softens it, the hair kind of softens it, but the jacket also the texture that it is kind of gives it a more relaxed vibe as well, which I really love. It's just really easy and really comfortable. Yeah, very simple, but I feel good in it. You know, it's just one of the outfits where I could leave the house not really knowing how the day is gonna roll, but I feel like I'm appropriately dressed for most of the day, you know? I feel like this is one of those outfits that allows for like some spontaneity. Sometimes people are like, oh, let's do this. And you're like, not like this. No, this is not one of those outfits. I feel like it would carry quite well. Um, yeah, so that's all, that's all. Okay, outfit number three is back with the autumnal tones. I don't know why I say it like that, but I love it, tones. I say it like that in my head whenever I see anything that is like khaki or like a burn orangey kind of like ready color and like tones. Yeah, you all needed to know that fact. Anyway, I love this dress. I've been so excited to show you guys this dress. It's from ASOS and it's the most gorgeous like ribbed high neck midi dress. I'm gonna show you with the jacket off. It is so pretty. I love the color of this. I love the ribbed effect. It's a really nice affordable dupe for, I can't get my jacket back on. <laughs> anyway, it's a really nice affordable dupe for my All Saints white ribbed knitted midi dress that I was wearing last winter and I still wear over and over and over again at the moment, but I just wanted to show you something a little bit different because you have seen it so many times so far just this autumn. This is obviously current stock and a little bit more affordable and just in the most beautiful autumnal color. I paired it with my Zara chunky leather ankle boots. I really like these ones for midi dresses. I think it's a nice juxtaposition on like the midi dress, which is very feminine. That's kind of how I see them anyway. They're always very soft to me and it just kind of like toughens up a little bit. And then with that, I've also thrown on my Bershka, Bershka? Yeah, my Bershka cropped leather jacket. I was originally gonna go with a full length one, which on me comes to about here. But this one is definitely more flattering here. It doesn't really change the proportions so much from the front, but just from like the side and back, having a cropped jacket on over the midi dress does look much better. But obviously it's not like make or break, but it's my preferred choice with a midi dress, I think. And I've just paired it with a black bag with this one, just because we've got the black leather jacket and boots going on as well. Okay, outfit number four. Ooh, I still remember what number I'm on. That's new. Normally we get to three and I lose count. Outfit number four was meant to have trainers with it, but I just don't think that I can wear a trench coat and trainers without looking like Doctor Who. So anyway, I'm wearing this beautiful trench coat from ASOS. This is just like so gorgeous. It's really light. So great for more mild autumnal days and for layering. It is the most stunning color. It's like that burnt ready orange tone. I just I just love it. And then underneath I've got a simple black outfit with my Zara body and my black Topshop Sydney jeans. And then I've got my ASOS boots. I can't remember what these are called, but in my brain, I call them riding boots because that's what they look like. But they're this gorgeous like faux, I think they're faux leather on the front. And then they've got like a ribbed kind of material on the back. And I just think they are so cool, so stunning. I didn't expect to love them as much as I did, 
when I got them and I tried them on and I was just like, yeah, I actually love these. They're so simple, but the back to them still adds a little bit of texture and interest and they just go with so many different things in my wardrobe and they're just a dream to throw on over black jeans. So yeah, really, really happy with those. And they help to elongate my leg as well. Whereas I put trainers on with this outfit and it kind of just wasn't working so much. And when the trench coat was closed, it was like almost just you could just see the little white trainers popping out from underneath and I looked like a little Lego man. So that was not the vibe, sadly. I've then also gone for my brown and tan kind of croc leather bag. This just works really nicely with the color of the coat. Just FYI, if you're new here with bags like this, I just kind of talk about the colors and textures of things rather than like the brand, like everything will be linked if you want it. But what's more important to me than like the exact bag is just like the tone of the bag that you kind of like pair with your outfit, but just in terms of like styling and Advice, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, but this is the kind of like bag color that I would pair with this coat. I actually feel that for this outfit, the scrunchie is kind of cute, but more when you have like the underneath layers of the outfit rather than the over layers of the outfit, if that makes sense. I think like if I had, I actually saw on Farfetch, so it's obviously ridiculously expensive, but a brown like tan leather scrunchie and it looks so cool, it's so big. And that would look great with this outfit, but obviously like I'm just not going to ever buy another scrunchie that is over five pounds ever again. <laughs> but yeah, something that maybe have more of a brown tone would look super cute with this outfit. But all in all, it's a very cute outfit and I love, I just love this color. It's just so beautiful. And I'm really happy actually with this trench coat. It's a little bit long on me, but it's not from ASOS Petite at all. So just to give you an idea, I am five foot two. I feel like I've said that already in this video, but just don't really drum it in because I feel like a lot of you are new. So hi, if you are new here, I am five foot two and this is kind of the length of the trench coat on me. So yeah, I do wish it was a little bit shorter on me because then I could get away with wearing trainers with this outfit because I think that would look really, really cute. Yeah, sadly not, but it looks great with the boots and I just love how light it is and the way it like falls and flows it's just really gorgeous so outfit number five is running along the cute and casual kind of vibe I thought I'd throw some loungewear options in here for autumn because I don't know about you but I work from home and I'm not really going as many places as I used to be sad times but we move anyway my number one styling tip for like loungewear and making it look pulled together really really easily is to invest let's use the word invest loosely I always get pulled up when I use the word invest in terms of like buying clothes but when it comes to loungewear for me I like to purchase items that are the same tone so like cold especially they're such a key item for me because they work together really well if you are shorter or vertically challenged they work really well as well at elongating your figure so that's why with me you will see me wearing a lot of like the same color underneath something I don't like to break it up too often because then that like breaks the illusion of having more height so I will always like wear cords or very very similar tones just to give the illusion of extra height and length to my body but in addition to that keeping with similar tones really helps to keep an outfit looking a little bit more minimal and a little bit less overwhelming to the eye and for me I find that similar tones are one of the easiest ways to make yourself look pulled together with very very minimal effort it's why a lot of my wardrobe is neutrals predominantly because it's all similar tones and it works together really well it's not overwhelming to the eye and therefore it just looks a little bit more chic and pulled together so anyway i do that with my loungewear as well this loungewear set in particular is from pretty little thing but zara do something very similar and i'm sure a lot of retailers are at the moment to be honest i have another set that i'm going to show you in a minute which i love but it's slightly less colorful than this one but what i've done is thrown a leather jacket over the top just to help it look a little bit more pulled together this is my zara leather jacket so as you can see it's a little bit longer on the length it's a little bit more oversized than my cropped one a little bit more slouchy and that works really well with the slouchiness of this cold like tracky crop top set with this look i'm wearing my beige trainers and then i've got a little backpack on just a little black backpack because it's casual but of course you can throw whatever bag you need on with it because basically if i was going to the shops i might take a big shopper bag if i'm just popping to someone's house i might take a backpack and if i'm just like literally nipping down the road to get like some milk then i might just take my little camera bag so whichever bag works best for you with this outfit basically because the predominant theme of this outfit is sorry if you can hear that noise there's a lot of racket going on in my chimney and that sounds weird Anyway, moving on. The key point with this outfit is that it can do you for a run to the shops or running headfirst towards the sofa. So whichever accessories work best for you basically, if it's comfy bed socks, great. If it's a pair of trainers and a camera bag, also great. Yeah, this is what the set looks like without anything on. I really like the top of this actually. It has this drawstring and you can basically make it like baggier or more tight. So this is kind of what it looks like 
just baggy, which I don't really love. It's like personal preference, really, isn't it? So I make it a bit tighter. You will have seen this cold actually in my summer to autumn transitional styling video because I wore it with cycle shorts but these are the matching tracky bottoms and you can have the top like show a little bit of your waist if you want or you can kind of like wear it a little bit lower you can have it completely loose and tuck it whatever feels best for you basically outfit number six are we on six uh, uh, I keep up I don't know. So for this outfit, we have a co-op, which is like an all black co-op. Some of you might recognize this from my Nasty Girl haul. I love this co-op. It makes me feel so pulled together, even though I'm literally wearing like almost like trackies and a hoodie, basically. I love it. It's so cute. I think because the tracksuit bottoms, leggings, I don't know what to call them. They're like a tighter fit of like knitted tracksuit bottoms. They're basically like a slim fit tracksuit bottom and they're in this lovely knitted fabric and so is the hoodie. It's so soft. I have actually washed it and it's washed really really well like literally looks brand new so super super happy with that. I love it. It just feels like a really smart cohort tracksuit kind of vibe. I really rate it but I'm also going to pair it with this jacket which is from Zara and you probably would have seen this in my winter coats video. This jacket is so warm and so snuggly and I match my chair. How cute is that? And I think it adds a really nice little bit of texture to this kind of look. It breaks up the black cord, matches nicely with my Vader trainers and it's a nice alternative to the leather jacket for those that don't want to wear like a long coat yet or a long coat at all or wear a trench coat and do like that Scandinavian vibe, nothing like that. It's the perfect in between for those that don't really like either of those options. It's casual but it's very cute at the same time and yeah I love this. I feel like even when you take the jacket off you still feel quite quite nice. It's that kind of, I could run to the shops in this kind of outfit. So for what I think is outfit number seven, I am bringing back my favorite jumper of autumn winter 2020. This is just, oh, this jumper is the best. It's the best color. It's so non-itchy for the fact that I feel like it was a material, I can't remember what the material is, but I remember thinking when I bought it, that it's gonna be itchy as hell and it's probably not gonna work for me, but I love it. It makes me so happy whenever I wear it. And I'm wearing it with something that is newer to my wardrobe. This skirt is from Zara. If you've seen my croc trousers that I got from Zara, you know how much I love a croc print and how much I love those trousers. They've done it in a skirt, which is exactly what I wanted because I'd actually seen a, jumper that looked like this somewhere somewhere online i can't remember where i saw it a jumper like this with a croc skirt and i just really really wanted that vibe and zara had made my autumn winter dreams come true i've paired the skirt with my zara lace-up yeah just checking that i was wearing those boots i paired it with my zara lace-up boots because the leather on them has this lovely shine which kind of is very in keeping with the skirt as well but obviously they don't have a print i didn't want to go too much with this you know i own a lot of croc print stuff but the lace-up detail on the boots just helps to add a little bit of like extra interest to the outfit even though we've got a lot of interest going on in terms of like the knit and the texture on the skirt but i just think they tie it really really well together i didn't want to go for a boot that was too plain i think everything is like quite statement and it works well for this reason though this is very much an autumn outfit for me i wouldn't necessarily wear this during the winter i would just for as long as i can keep wearing like thermal jumpers underneath this and stuff like that tights also if i was a tights wearer just because i think to add a coat over this takes away from like these standout pieces if that makes sense so for me personally i would keep this more as an autumn outfit but that's just my own pickiness when it comes to styling you know and in terms of bag i again pick something that has just like a smoother finish to it rather than like a crop print or anything like that and no monogramming nothing like that and i've actually just like cinched this one up to make it sit around my stomach because i just really like the vibe of that i really love it and it allows more attention to be given to the skirt rather than having a bag that hangs down over the skirt so yeah that is this outfit I love it. It's so cute. Scrunchie is still going strong as well. Still working with the majority of these outfits and I'm, I'm here for it. Ooh, the sun has come back out for my final outfit. It'll probably disappear now that I've said that. But I have saved my favourite outfit until last. And it didn't feel right not to feature this item in an autumn styling video. Because you have the what I wore in a week and you have the hauls. But the autumn styling videos are like the official like outfits I really love kind of vibes. Yeah, that light is making my face look so weird. Like washed out from this side. 
cool even though you guys might have already seen this item i still wanted to feature it in this video and i've styled it up slightly differently to how i have in other videos but i am so in love with this skirt this is from zara it's actually a score like they call it a score on the website but honestly the only thing that makes it a score is that there's actually like this tiny bit of lining that goes in between your legs that is the most that is like sporty about it because someone said to me like does it look like shorts at the back and i was like why why are they asking me that and then i realized it's because it's called a score online and i was like yes yeah, it's a skirt like nothing about this looks like a pair of shorts does it so it's slightly misleading on the website but i love this i love the kind of gray khaki tone oh it's so gorgeous i paired it with a slim fit roll neck from zara which i'm just like i'm wearing so much at the moment because when i wear these skirts this roll neck is great because it doesn't come down very far and with those i'm also wearing my asos like little grinding boots normally i would go for my zara lace-up boots but i wanted to give you guys something slightly different just in general i like having a brown toned bag with this one but it does also look lovely with a black bag but i just wanted to pair it with my chloe test bag because it's this gorgeous like croc brown leather and tan and I just think it's such an autumnal bag it's really come into its own this autumn more than ever you guys will know if you've been around for more than a year I did not wear this bag last year and I've had it for I think nearly two years now so it's really come into its own with my style this year and I love it so yeah that is my final outfit this one I'm particularly obsessed with and it's so comfortable as well because it's not so high-waisted and it's also a little bit looser on my hips I wear a small for reference in both the skirts in this video and the croc fit one is definitely like it's more high-waisted and it's more of a kind of like bodycon fit whereas this is more of a like regular like lower on the waist kind of fit and I, I really love this so that is it for this autumn styling video i hope that it's given you some outfit inspiration and if nothing else i hope that my weird mood was somewhat entertaining for you guys but yeah i'll be back with you soon once i have finished painting and have emerged from ikea hell with a few little like home updates and some more styling videos for you but until then i hope you're all having the best day and you're all doing really well and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye oh yeah yes please don't forget to let me know which outfit was your favorite love you bye